the son of a pizza man. Okay, so the pizzas are out of the oven. So to recap, because you don't know, mm -hmm. so I made two of these Fruit Loop pizzas. The only difference between the two is that the one has ricotta, okay. and the one has the other one has mozzarella. Okay. Because I thought the mozzarella might be weird because it's more of a savory flavor. So I thought um, <coughs> adding ricotta, I mixed sugar in with the ricotta too, so it's sweet. Uh, my prediction is that this, these are going to be very sweet pizzas. Yeah, I think so. I think that's. <laughs> I think that's. <laughs> I think the experiment between the two cheeses, I think, is the most interesting, like, thing here in terms of like, what is like. I have a feeling that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what a crispy Fruit Loop is going to taste like, but honestly, yeah, I don't know. That doesn't I'm, look super appetizing. To be I, ha very I have, good. I have some fresh, some fresh Fruit Loops, uh, just, just for comparison's sake. So well, I know what they taste like. Uh, okay, so let's start with the mozzarella one, which okay. is this one. Yeah, and when you talked about doing this initially, I also, I feel like you've used mozzarella as the base for some sweeter recipes before, and I still think that it, it tends to be a little bit salty. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Yay. Um. I don't, um, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Um, what is it that's underneath the mats? So it's a layer of cream cheese and sugar. That's what it is. Uh, and then Fruit Loops, and then mozzarella, and then it's drizzled with Greek yogurt and sweetened condensed milk. Okay, so this is the exact recipe that you've seen before, right? Well, like yeah. this is basically the exact I mean, recipe. More or less? Yeah, more or less. Um, the cream cheese is doing a lot of heavy lifting here mm -hmm. in terms of like making up for the sins of all the other ingredients. Like it both kind of mellows out the sweetness of a lot of the other ingredients, which is to say that I bet this thing probably wouldn't be that bad. Minus the mozzarella entirely. Yeah, I think the mozzarella kind of throws it off for me personally, but it's not its not bad. It's not bad. It's not a bad flavor profile. It's not a bad um, flavor, but all I'm getting mostly is the deliciousness of like sweet cream cheese because I'm a, a person that I like, I don't do it all the time, but like every now and again, I like to have a, like a blueberry or strawberry cream cheese. Mm -hmm. It's not great, yeah. but it's like delicious in like this gross plastic kind this, of fake way. This is a lactose intolerant person's worst nightmare. Yes, yeah, this is a nightmare pizza. So for it's like dairy on dairy, dairy on dairy. Right. Okay, so this is the one with the sweetened ricotta instead of the mozzarella. Okay. So, not super different, but no. I think that the, well, you can say. No, no. I was just gonna say the impact of the mozzarella on the other thing, it does, 
it does sort of make the pizza feel more like a pizza and it feels more solid. It's like a heavier thing. This is a quite a bit lighter. It's lighter. It's a lot lighter. It's not as rich because of that. I think there's a richness that you lose right. with the mozzarella. Right. And so the, like, saltiness. And, and the saltiness that kind of, that there, there's a balance between the saltiness of the mozzarella and the other ingredients and then the sweetness of the cream cheese, that, that the creaminess and the, of the cre cream cheese or whatever, but yeah. Is that what you think too? Yeah. I think, um, yeah. And the, the Fruit Loops, you can't really... Don't really tell. I mean, you yeah. they're, they're, you can tell there's there's something there, but it's not... You can probably put any kind of cereal on here and it would it would probably taste the, almost the same. They kind of got mushy before they got fried. Right. Or before they got baked. And right. so they kind of don't taste like anything. Right. So, I don't know. It's not, it's not bad. I mean, I, I'm sure if I live near a Fonz pizza, I would order this and be like, I'll try it. I will, I'm sure it's fine. I bet the one that they do, there's probably a couple of things they do in terms of how they cook it, how right. long they cook it, the kind right. of crust they're using, and the balance of the different ingredients that probably makes this a much, I could see this being uh, a very elegant pizza. And even if they, do you know if they're putting the, if they're putting the, if they put the Fruit Loops on after, yeah, I don't. I could. I. I don't think they are because in the pictures there's like a layer of mozzarella on top. Oh. So or like it, there's mozzarella on top of the Fruit Loops. So that that tells me that. I'm just like gonna go ahead and put a couple of Fruit Loops on top of this thing okay. and just see what happens to me. Um, you gonna turn? You gonna turn into a Fruit Loop, my love? Baby. Too late. <laughs> we both know. <laughs> How was that? How was that experience for you? Um, it's completely different. Yeah, like the fresh Fruit Loops. Only in the sense that there's like an extra texture. Mm -hmm. um, and the no. first bite before you get to the cream cheese, which does kind of take over everything, the first bite you get some of the. You can taste. Fruit. You can taste the Fruit Loops. Um, so yeah. So if I did this again, I would. Use the mozzarella, uh, so stick to their their recipe, and then maybe maybe put a layer of Fruit Loops initially, stick in the oven, and then when it comes out, maybe add that as another like topping, like a little like a small layer of just for just for that crunch, the texture thing. I would almost suggest skipping the Fruit Loops altogether because really truly they don't seem to be adding a whole lot. But they add something. It's just. It, I mean, they, but then again, I have to say the same thing about the mozzarella, and then without it, it wasn't that great. So. Right. So, anyway. So yeah, uh, we tried it. That's the Fruit Loop Pizza.